Hi, I'm Nick with Norpol. Today we'll go ahead and discuss how to properly program your Corel PZGX refrigerator controller. Let's get started. Before we get into the parameters on this unit, let's go over some basic settings on the controller. This controller will allow you to turn off the cooling system. In order to turn the cooling system off and turn the controller off, you would go ahead and press and hold down the up arrow for three seconds. Once you do that, you'll see the word off and a temperature flash, which is just disabling the cooling system. In order to get the cooling system back on, go ahead and simply repeat that operation. Press and hold down the up arrow for three seconds. Then you'll see the temperature stay solid. Once the temperature remains solid, you know that the controller is back on. Now we can go ahead and get into setting the temperature. In order to set the temperature, you want to go ahead and press and hold down the set button for three seconds. You'll see the temperature flash. You can use the up or the down arrow to raise or lower the temperature. Once you get to the desired temp, go ahead and press set. Now we can get into accessing the parameters. In order to access the parameter, go ahead and press and hold down the set button until you see P5. Once you see P5, go ahead and press set. You'll then see zero. The password on our refrigerator controllers is 22. Go ahead and use the up arrow until you get to the number 22 and then press set to save that. Now we have access to the parameters. Use the down arrow to scroll through the parameters. The first parameter you'll see is F3. The F3 indicates the fan mode during a defrost. The factory setting is one. If you want the fans to run during a defrost cycle, set that parameter to zero. The next parameter you'll see is F2. F2 will allow the fan to stop when the compressor stops. The factory setting is 1, and if you want the fans to run when the compressor is off, you can go ahead and put that parameter down to 0. The next setting we'll see is F0. F0 is the fan operating function, which controls all of the F parameters, or all of the fan parameters. The factory setting on this parameter should be 0. The next one you'll see is D6. D6 will allow you to disable the temperature during a defrost. The factory setting is 1. The next parameter you'll see is DP. DP is the setting to control the defrost duration, which means how long the unit will go into a defrost cycle. The factory setting is 20, meaning 20 minute defrosts. The next one we'll see is DT. DT is the defrost termination temperature, meaning once the temperature sensor reaches a certain temperature, it will come out of a defrost. If the unit reaches this temperature before the 20 minute defrost cycle is over, it will force the unit out of a defrost. The factory setting is 46 degrees. The next parameter you'll see is DI. DI is the defrost interval time. The factory setting is 6. This means that the unit is set to go into a defrost every 6 hours. So if DP1 is set to 20 and DT is set to 6, it's going to go into a 20 minute defrost every 6 hours. Adjusting this parameter might result in freeze ups near the evaporator. The next parameter we'll see is C0. C0 is the compressor delay. The factory setting is 2, meaning once you start the unit, the compressor will not turn on for 2 minutes. This will help protect the electrical components of the compressor. 
The next one we'll see is R2. R2 is the high limit. The high limit is the highest temperature you could set this unit to. The factory setting is 43, which means you will not be able to set this temperature higher than 43 unless this parameter is adjusted. The next one we'll see is R1. R1 is the low limit, which is the lowest you'd be able to set the temperature to. The factory setting is 33 degrees. The next one we'll see is RD. RD is the differential. The differential is the temperature swing in the unit, meaning if the unit is set to 37 degrees, the compressor will not come back on until the display reaches 44 degrees. The factory setting is 7. You could adjust this parameter lower, but that will result in the unit cycling more. If you scroll down, you'll see C2. C2 is the evaporator offset. This setting is normally set to zero, meaning once the unit passes the set point, the unit will come back on immediately and the evaporator will start getting cold again. This parameter is used to measure the temperature of the probe. The next parameter you'll see is slash five. Slash five is the Fahrenheit or Celsius display. Factory setting is one for Fahrenheit. If you want the unit to read in Celsius, you would set this parameter to zero. After that, we'll go back to P5, which means we cycled through all of the parameters. In order to save these parameters, go ahead and press and hold down the set button until you show the temperature again. Once you show the temperature again, everything has been saved. One more thing to note is, is that you could force the unit in and out of a defrost. If you noticed any frost or ice building up near the evaporator fans, and that could be caused by leaving the door open, you can force the unit into a defrost. In order to do that, go ahead and press and hold down the bottom arrow for three seconds. You'll see DEF displayed on the screen, and then you'll have a little defrost icon you could also force the unit out of a defrost. In order to force it out of a defrost, go ahead and repeat that same operation. Thank you for watching our video on the Norpol PZGX refrigerator controller. If you would like to order parts for any of the Norpol or Magic Chef products, you can visit our website at www.mcappliance.com and click on the support tab at the top that has a drop down for parts. You could also contact us at 888-775-0202. Any of our representatives will be happy to help. Thank you.